Good morning guys and welcome to another episode of Riding the Reaper. Uh, we are out here today at Tiger Valley Ford and um, we've got a awesome lineup here today. We are going through uh, on a nice little breakfast run. Uh, we're going to stop at Algin uh, and we're also going to stop at a, a nice end location that hasn't been mentioned yet. So um, yeah, we're about to find out what the end location is once we reach Algin and I'll go, let you guys know. Um, or I'll leave it a surprise. I don't know. We'll still we'll, we'll wait and see. Um, it looks like it's going to be a stunning day. I think uh, it's going to be like 25 or so on. Um, my car, unfortunately, the Reaper's still down. Uh, we bought a idle air control valve, put the idle air control valve on, and then la yesterday, uh, today's Sunday, so yesterday, Saturday, for the first time in like a week and a half, I drove the car. Um, car's idling a bit weird still, but we need to sort that out with the with the idler screw just set that idling nice um she's still dropping rpms every now and again so we still need to figure that out so i wasn't i wasn't going to take the chance and drive the car and then sit on the side of the road because it is quite a, a lengthy drive um but yeah look at all these these cars behind me this is such a lineup such an awesome lineup got the s550s we got some mark ones got the classics and then um i was picked up by donovan from the mustang owners club of the western cape he's got a 95 uh gt uh called topless because it's the convertible so um stunning vehicle has got an x-pipe on really really nice and then uh yeah we got some other classics out here from the mustang owners club of the western cape and then we've got a bunch of S550s and uh, Swiss 1 GT in the background doing his thing taking some nice pics um, yeah stunning vehicles out here we even got a nice supercharged uh, S550 making about 850 wheel um, with the RTR grill that's something you never see um, yeah stunning stunning vehicles out here today and it's gonna be an awesome day for a breakfast run so um yeah i'm gonna get some nice shots going through and then uh get some cinematics of the cars uh once we're at the end location but uh yeah we this i must say i've never been to uh tiger valley's ford uh they are hosting us this morning and um this building is stunning i know they've only been here a couple of years like maybe five years in total five six years but um yeah if you if you need anything performance done on your vehicle on your ford this is the place you need to go and um yeah just stunning inside it's a, it's really really a nice building really clean really looked after so um thank you guys for hosting us today and um yeah we are going through now probably um we're doing a trip to Krabo, so we're probably gonna probably gonna do algin first i guess i'm not sure but yeah, uh, we'll see you in the next shot. I'ma go get it anyway for buses. I've been taking L's and I lost it. They less I to get the money. I got an obsession. If trap is a sport, then it'll be my profession. To tell you the truth, I don't got a confession. I don't know why, Lily, I feel aggression. I'ma go get it anyway for buses. I keep taking L's and I lost it. They less And it's stupid, I ruined my session. I'm still getting money during a recession. I don't try for some hobby flexing. To be dumb, getting rid of evidence. I'ma go get it, they waiting for buses. I've been taking L's and I lost it, they less. I think it's the money, I got an obsession. If trap is a sport, then it'll be my profession. Tell you the truth, I don't got no confessions. I don't know why, Lily, I feel aggression. I'ma go get it, they waiting for buses. I keep taking L's and I lost it, they less. Come on.
You can't get any better than this. Can't get any better. Swiss One GT, the RTR. Got a Mark One pulling in the back. Can't get any better, man. Look at this lineup. Good lord. <laughs> but uh, we just arrived arrived at Algen market and um, yeah look at that lineup you just can't beat it anyways we're about to go inside and check it out some people going in now uh, guess who is in SA guys <laughs> as a, 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 a huge energy drink fan and a huge energy drink drinker um, this is so awesome that bang decided to come to SA um, yeah, there's only three flavors so far in SA, but there's a whole bunch of flavors. Uh, I've had the other two, the Rainbow, Rainbow Unicorn is my favorite so far. Uh, this is the Froza Rosa, and then there is the Starburst. I don't know what the full name is of that one. That Starburst one I had first, and it wasn't that great. The Rainbow Unicorn is really good, and we're about to try this one. Um, but yeah. I'm so glad they came to SA, uh, something to rival Monster at least, um, but uh, so far Monster's still taking the lead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're all just going to go inside, have something to eat I guess, and check out the market, and then we're going to hit the road again, and then hopefully drive along the coast, so we're going to have some awesome shots along the coast as well. But uh, that's it for now. So welcome to Algin. Um, this is the entrance right here and I'm going to lead you through to the main part of Elgin. Trains are this way and uh, you can see behind us we've got some nice little stalls and this place is just unbelievable. It's just on a whole other level you guys. If you haven't been out to Elgin, uh, you definitely need to go and make a plan to get out here. I mean look at this place. Got live entertainment setting up. It's huge. Got two stories going up with uh, nice little seating areas for if you want to buy something to eat. Got a nice ambiance here. Got wood fired, wood fired heaters, guys. And um, it's just so toasty in here. Got the the fans, and they're all running off of each other's energy with belts. So it's like a belt driven fan system. And uh, yeah, it's just so nice in here. Got some nice wine in the back. Got craft gins. Um, yeah, and I just had from the Algin Station Grill, just had um, a, a brisket, yeah, a brisket bun. And it was awesome. You definitely, if you guys come out here, you guys need to make a turn by this place. The food is incredible. We've got a third chicken out here in the back and there's a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of uh, different cultures out here. There's Indian and there's, there's, there's Greek and there's Mexican and um, Italian with pizza and pasta, wood-fired pizza. It is, it's just crazy out here. We've got 
um, a fudge kitchen that does like like designer fudges and snacks and we just there's just everything out here you guys need to come out make a turn it's a nice little drive out here as well and then check the scenery as well got a nice little outside patio area upstairs they sell different things clothes and hats and everything so yeah it's just just a really good vibe everyone's so chilled and relaxed and they got waffles oh i mean this place is just crazy and the design of this place i mean look at it it's so amazing out here so so nice um i'm gonna go outside quickly and check uh, where the train comes in so i'll see you guys in a bit so guys got a little wall climbing thing going there little playpen for the kids got a nice seating area outside as well and then I think down here is the train yeah so if you go through those gates train station is out here you can see old school style train station really awesome Oh, this place is just on another level. Really nice out here. Really nice. Out here on the deck. The rest of the crew. And look at this view behind me. What? Such a stunning venue. Such a nice place. On this deck. And just train tracks going down going all the way down that way you can actually take the train in I know it's quite pricey but looks it's probably quite a nice trip going in <laughs> oh my word symbol look at her face <laughs> Look at this Simba. face! <laughs> Simba is actually a great name. Like it's Sally. It's, it's Sally. Sally, yeah. Oh, Sally. Mustang Sally. Mustang, Mustang Sally. Mustang yeah. Sally. Alrighty. Just so cute. Go around that side as well, yeah. You can go go around that side as well. Welcome to Claymont. <laughs> that was a stunning drive and um, as you can see behind me we got the whole squad out here as well again and um, look at this. Look at this stunning view. I mean you don't get much fucking better than that and then you don't get much better than that. The whole squad. Come on guys, really? S550s S5, Mark 1s, 67s, 67 Coupe, SA95, what more do you want? You just need to add an Eleanor for the, for the group now, GT500. 
Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go take a walk, uh, get onto this this bridge here. Uh, got a nice little nice little restaurant. Where was that now? Nice little restaurant there at the back with a nice view of the ocean. But yeah, stunning out here. And a uh, really awesome day. You can see we're amongst the mountains. Let's go take a look. <laughs> They're probably heading there to be like, we heard someone street racing. <laughs> Guys, first time in an S550 and I don't think the smile has left my face yet. The X-Pipe just makes it sound like an orchestra, it's fucking stunning. Oh my god. <laughs> it's classic! Oh, brilliant. Oh, and you couldn't ask for better scenery either. RTR in front, got the mountains, and then this beautiful interior of the S550. Swiss One GT, go give him a follow on Instagram, guys, and check out this beautiful Mustang. Oh. <laughs> stop the pit stop <laughs> look at this the old old petrol pumps it's quite a fitting uh, a fitting stop to quite a fitting final location for the run <laughs> Nice heat. Oh, this is awesome. This is really awesome. This is something else. Check out. Something else, guys. <laughs> 